the two crusaders who were in the film. Last week, we brought you three of the reporters portrayed in the movie, all part of the Spotlight team, which brought this scandal to light. But there were others, too, without whom those stories might not have been written. Joining me now are two of them. Mitchell Garabedi, an attorney who represented many survivors of the Catholic Church's crimes. Good to see you, Mitchell. See you. Phil Saviano, a survivor himself, founder of the New England chapter of Survivors Network of Those Abused by Priests. It's a group he's still involved with. Phil, good to see you, too. Yes. Let's move to you. There is a scene with you and Mike Resendez. In fact, let's just play this. Then I want to talk to you about it. So I pull out the 14 most damning docs, and I attach them to my motion. And they prove everything, everything, about the church, about the bishops, about law. And it's all public, because your motion to oppose Roger's motion is, is public. public. Yeah, exactly. Now you're paying attention. And so I could just walk into that courthouse right now and get those documents? No, you cannot, because the documents are not there. But you just said they're public. I know I did. But this is Boston, and the church does not want them to be found. So they are not there. Mitch, are you telling me that the Catholic Church remove legal documents from that courthouse. Look, I'm not crazy. I'm not paranoid. I'm experienced. Check the docket. You'll see. They control everything. You'll see. They control everything. Accurate? Very accurate. Extremely. They literally had the documents removed. Not Obviously, there. no right to do so. Not there. The church is not going to change. They're not changing. I have a client who was abused in 1938. We're dealing with an entity that allowed innocent children to be sexually molested for decades upon decades upon decades. This is spin control. They're not changing. The way they're treating victims now is shameful. How so? They're, they're looking at these records of victims, scrutinizing them, and then unfairly, unfairly deciding a claim may not be credible. Get back to what you said before. You said things are not any better or they're just not enough better they're worse they're what does that mean worse they've Mitchell. gone back into hiding the, the publicity has gone in terms of the way church operates now now they're telling now they're telling victims oh we don't want to bother with this claim it was an otter priest that's not a uh, priest from the archdiocese of boston uh the, we don't understand what happened here because the priest who was alive is saying um, it didn't happen therefore we don't want to have a hearing they've taken a step backwards this entity is not going to change. The worth of this movie is, is the message it's sending to the public to watch your children when they were priests. But do you think it has any potential, I don't want to be overly optimistic, to force the church to stop doing the things you say it continues to do? How are you going to do it? They operate in secrecy. 